Uh, my colleague Alex Crook has stayed with us because Alex I know you've been texting back and forth and I know you're on top of the situation regarding England who's going to get the job full time might it be Carsley Pep now in the frame big time but there's another name who seems to be the out and out favourite we heard the, the bookies odds regards Thomas Tuchel and I know you've got information that backs us up yeah, you'd be talking about elite players. I think Thomas Tuchel would certainly see himself as an elite manager, having won the Champions League with Chelsea, uh, won the league in both France with PSG and Germany with Bayern Munich as well. Uh, nothing formal yet, but it's my understanding the FA have indeed, like they have with Pep Guardiola, sounded out Thomas Tuchel about the possibility of him becoming England's next permanent manager. I think on Tuchel's part, maybe unlike Guardiola, uh, he's pretty convinced that he would want the job, he wants to return to English football. We know that there's uh, interest there from Manchester United as well. So it'll be fascinating, won't it, to see how it works out for Eric Ten Hag in the next couple of weeks that if it, results don't improve for him, could we see a situation where Manchester United, arguably the biggest club in England, are going head-to-head with the FA for a potential managerial appointment? So Thomas Tuchel, uh, very much in demand. As I say, no formal uh, approach yet, no interviews have taken place but we expect that process to get underway very shortly with a view to the FA having a pretty clear idea uh, by the end of the year who they want as the next permanent England manager I think we can say with some certainty now it won't be Lee Carsley not least because if you look at the application uh, when the FA invited people to apply for the job one of the stipulations was that the winning successful candidate would have a proven track record either in the Premier League or, or in a major international competition. Carsley doesn't tick that box. Right, OK. But Tuchel, age 51, does, it would appear. Who's he managed? Augsburg, Mainz, Borussia Dortmund, PSG, Chelsea, on the Champions League, yep. and Bayern Munich. Um, He's the recipient of the boot from the elite clubs. Whether that makes him an elite manager is a different discussion. Maybe they should bring. Todd, but he's won trophies at maybe these elite they, clubs. As part of the selection process, the FA should sit Todd Bowley and, and get some ideas from him as to what challenges they may have. And then they phone up NASA and ask him what challenges they had. And then they can phone up Bayern Munich and see if all this common denominator of Tuchel being walked out of the door, not for, I would assume, most of the time, despite the fact that Bayern Munich didn't win the Bundesliga for the first time in 11 years under his tenureship. But what do you really want here? Do you want a serial trophy winner like Tuchel? You don't want a nice guy like Gareth, in your view. No, I want a winner. So what, what do you want? I want a well, winner. A winner. Well, I, want, I want a winner. That oh, Tuchel's a winner. But I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I want a winner that can conduct himself in perpetuity and we, and we reflect that in the manner the way he makes, manages the team. It's a balancing act. I mean, I thought Tuchel was brilliant when he first came into to Chelsea. Uh, I think the outcomes of his departure, you know, that's not for my gift to tell the world what they were, but they were perfectly legitimate for Chelsea's management not to tolerate that. And he's found himself in the same situation for similar different reasons at Bayern and at PSG. If the common denominator is you, there has to be a problem. Now, whether that can be curbed and whether that act, and whether the person learns their lessons from whatever behaviour the people that he's worked with before don't find acceptable and he can translate onto the, onto the, onto the international stage. We've seen a manager come into England with a big reputation and to some extent with due respect to the fact he's passed, Sven put the English FA in difficult situations at times because of his, you know, extracurricular activities. And I'm not comparing and contrasting that. I'm talking about the personalities. Thomas Tuchel, I would like the FA, with a great degree of irony on my part, to alight upon Thomas Tuchel because I think they'd have a, their hands full and it would keep them at it and keep them focused and I dare them to employ Thomas Tuchel. It doesn't feel like a very FA appointment though, does it? No, God no. It, there's a handful of trouble for them. And they're, they're, a handful they're, of trouble. At the best of the time, they're snivelling cowards, so they're going to have to deal with someone that's a real life one. So let's see how they get on with that. I would wish it upon them. I think that the FA in this country are poor, and I think that for my sort of sardonic amusement, I'd like them to have Thomas Tuchel. I'm looking at a lot of messages coming in. A German managing England? Wow, how far have England oh, fallen? Understand. This is embarrassing and this is desperate. Really? He's a winner. Yeah, I mean, listen, German, Is it uh, winner? Spa- what do you, what Spanish... Do you, want? Do you want Carsler or do you want Tuchel? Well, there's a, there's a lot of England fans who still think the England manager should be English. And actually, historically, I think I'm right in saying that no overseas manager Correct. has ever won the World Cup. I think the, yeah. the, the most recent time it happened in the European Championships was when Greece got that shot victory back in 2004. So there's no guarantees that appointing an overseas manager who's been successful at club level is going to translate that on the international stage. Guardiola is obviously a genius. But like Tuchel, a lot of his best work is done on the training pitch. When you're England manager, 
you don't get your time on the training pitch. Lee Carsley, I, mean, I, I thought it was a foolish omission, but when he came out after the Greece debacle and said we only had 20 minutes to work on that system, that gives you a little I, snapshot, a little idea of just how limited the time these managers it's get with their you, players. You're not going to tell us that England have to be managed by an Englishman, are you? Well, there's two That's arguments. almost like Yorkshire. Well, there's we only two, have Yorkshiremen playing for Yorkshire. There's two arguments, isn't there? There's the the Matt Letizia argument, which is well rehearsed, which is you have to be English to play for England, so why shouldn't you have to be English to manage England? And you can there's merit in that. There is merit what, in that argument. What merit? Well, because you have to be English to play for England, so why shouldn't you have to be English to manage them? Then there's the other argument, which I'm probably more ensconced in, which is we live in a global world. You know, most of our football clubs in this country are not actually owned by Englishmen anymore, even though there are assets no longer. Most of the players in there aren't actually English. Most of the managers aren't English. Most of the assistant coaches aren't English. Most of the sporting directors aren't English. Um, let me think. wonder why that is. Um, so the reality of it is, is we might have to adapt to it. But it is, a, it is a glaring stat. And we have to look at ourselves to say, no other country does this. And we have to do this, potentially consider it, because we've got a dearth of talent. I was going to say. And why is that? You won't like the use of the word that? optically again, but what does that look like for, for British coaches? They've spent a lot of money on St George's Park to create yeah. this pathway. If you go against someone like Eddie Howe, who for me is still the standout English contender, and fair. you go for Guardiola or Thomas Tuchel, is it a smack in the face for British coaches? We may as well be out here with this. Alex, you're in amongst England all the time. You were with us in Germany. We were with you throughout in Germany. You go to media conferences all the time. If it came down to Thomas Tuchel, Pep Guardiola, or, and I'll throw it in, Eddie Howe, who gets it? Well, if, who should if, get it? If money is no object and all three of them want the job, then you go for Guardiola. Yeah. That is the ambitious, ambitious appointment. That's the fantasy appointment in many people's eyes. And I don't think you would get any pushback from too many England fans about the fact he's not an English manager if you're hiring Pep Guardiola. Can you imagine it? You know, the final at the World Cup in 2026. Yeah, but he's not English. He's not English. They gave it to Pep and he's not English. It's a ridiculous there will, notion. There will always be dissenting voices, and often I am one of them, right, about whatever the outcome is. Well, you're a little Englander. I'm not a little Englander, but what I am is a realist and a pragmatist. And the bigger question is why? Not this crap that English managers will p p tell you that it's not because they're given opportunities because idiot foreign owners employ managers because they don't want to look internally into English football. Why is that? Why is every aspect of our football no longer English? Hmm. I tell you why. Because the attitude of English managers in the past has been pretty poor. The evolution has only been dragged there kicking and screaming by the introduction of foreign investment and foreign management and foreign standards mm. so the bigger question is what are we going to do to fix this so that we've got better managers right and it isn't just by putting them into the england job it surely is getting more british managers specifically english managers into the top football clubs and the top football clubs wanting them because they don't start with a preordained bias an american owner or an egyptian owner or a russian owner or whatever bloody owners we've got don't sit there going well the most, most person i mustn't employ is an englishman they look at the talent pool and go Across the globe, we look at it. Yeah, and go, yeah. English managers don't stack up. Yeah. Why? Who changed their managers recently? Liverpool slot. In he goes. And there's the question. West Ham. Lopetegui. The In he goes. Forrest. I mean, Steve Cooper at Leicester. He's Welsh, though, isn't he? So on the same day that we hear that Pep has been sounded out by becoming England's next manager and is expected to decide in his future in the coming weeks, now we hear the FA are in talks with Thomas Tuchel over the England job. It's getting interesting, isn't it? Jim White. Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport